Factsverse presents Police break open this shipping crate, and the stench immediately tells them something's wrong. First, help us spread the word about Factsverse by clicking that like button, and also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. All animals should be protected, but sadly, they're not. Certain animals have overpopulated the areas where they live, such as hippos in Colombia. These animals are not protected. There are other species who are always in danger from other animals and humans. These animals need all the help that they can get to keep from becoming extinct. When a cargo container arrived in Yantian District's port in China, it raised red flags. It arrived through unconventional channels without the proper paperwork. The officials were told that the container was empty, which they did not believe. The officials were from Daipang Customs Anti-Smuggling Branch, and they didn't believe that story. Why would somebody spend the money to ship an empty container? It was their job to inspect the container to see what was inside. When the officers broke the lock on the shipping container, they found it was filled to the top with blue and red striped bags. When they opened one of the bags, they noticed it was filled with coal. Well, if the container held coal, why would the sender be keeping that a secret? Shipping coal's not illegal. So they knew there had to be something else going on. When the investigators pulled out each sack, they cut into them. When they got to the middle of the pile, they found something, and there was a horrible smell of decay that came along with it. They stopped cutting into the bags immediately for their health and their safety. They called in quarantine officers to supervise while they unpacked the rest of the sacks and it was then they found something that made them sick to their stomachs. Police broke open this shipping crate. They found pangolin scales in the bags. Pangolins are the most poached animals in the world. They're similar to armadillos. They were once considered an endangered species. These animals are covered with scales, and they are really adorable. When they discovered the scales, they found the bag contained 13.1 tons of pangolin scales. This was the largest bust of illegal pangolin byproducts ever found by Chinese officials in history. It's believed the entire haul came from over 30,000 pangolins. They knew they had to catch the people responsible for this to keep it from ever happening again. When a pangolin feels threatened or scared, they roll up into a ball, and that behavior makes it very easy for traffickers to just simply scoop them up and sell them. Pangolin scales are often used in Chinese medicine. There's no scientific evidence to back up the benefits, but the Chinese people they believe that ingesting the scales can cure a number of illnesses, such as arthritis, asthma, and cancer. They think of these scales as a wonder drug. Some people believe the animal's meat has healing effects as well. Pangolins have been granted protection by the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, but this has not stopped people from poaching the animals. Neither has the 10-year prison sentence that a person will get if they're caught. The investigators they didn't have much to work with, all they had to go on was the name on the shipping form. So they needed another lead, and they called in a team of investigators who were dedicated to shutting down smuggling operations. They discovered the scales coming from Africa. They had the shipment name and location, which helped them narrow down their list of suspects. After narrowing down the suspect list a bit more, they were finally able to arrest two men – he and Lee. Lee is a well-known smuggler who evaded capture for years. He denied having anything to do with the pangolin scales. When the investigators found photos on his cell phone, though, he claimed they must have been taken by the phone's previous owner. Right. If Lee could prove that he bought the phone secondhand, well, they wouldn't be able to hold him. Fortunately, Lee did make a mistake. When he took those photos, he got his foot in the shot. And he has a mole on his foot. A very identifiable mole. He and Lee had been partners for a while, and they made over $758,000 smuggling together. The two men were arrested. Even though he and Lee were put in prison, animal smuggling still continues to be an issue. Fortunately, steps are always being taken to prevent smuggling. According to the International Fund for Animal Welfare, more needs to be done. It's the only way to prevent the extinction of the animals in our world. Even though we can't stop people from wanting to smuggle, we hopefully can catch them in the act a lot more often. What animal do you think should be put on the endangered species list? Tell us in the comments below and subscribe for more.